I identified at Hinkley Rugby Building Society that we had a group of staff that were really passionate about the environment and focused on climate change. And back in 2019, we created an environmental committee, not only for ourselves to look at our own footprint, but to determine how could we be a local leader and help to raise the awareness and understanding about climate impacts. To be able to talk confidently in the public about climate change, we had to put our own house in order first. We measured our footprint. We started to get a plan of action of how can we bring that footprint down? How can we reduce those carbon emissions? We went paperless. Not an easy thing to do, but it helped us really demonstrate our intent to all of our staff. The key thing was our electric use at head office. We have a lot of computers, a lot of lights, so we looked into the benefit of solar panels. It took about 12 months to go through, but we ended up putting 111 solar panels on our roof. And we've got four card charging points, one for the public and three for staff, which we're very excited about. But it was an exciting journey. It was something we didn't know about, and we want to share that knowledge. So as part of the environmental committee, one thing we're keen to do is work with small local businesses and just tell our story and just hopefully enable other people and other local businesses to do what we've done. Our customers have mortgages with us and residential properties make up about 23% of the carbon emissions in the UK. So there's a lot of work to be done. So we've looked at how do we help our customers to understand what is it that needs to be done in their property, in what order, how can it be financed to help the customer understand by infrared display where are the weak spots and the energy inefficient parts of the property. We've also worked with another expert supplier to look at a whole home survey and identify through that what is the pathway to zero for that house and for that customer. Naturally, a lot of the public at the moment have had other things in their mind and COVID and the cost of living has led to quite a low take-up in people retrofitting the properties. So that's when we realised that we've got to focus on that leadership, on making people aware of what does the future look like, what needs to be done and what are the options available to them. And doing that locally fits very much with our building society ethos. We wanted to do something different. We didn't want to go to a stall with free pens to give away and come and talk to us. We wanted something interactive. So we came up with the idea of a doll's house. We upcycled a doll's house, so we've basically retrofitted it. It's tongue in cheek, it's, you know, it's not a completely functional house, but it, it's something that you can use to help demonstrate to people of all ages, so we can help educate children, take it to schools. But it's also a conversation start point for adults or people who do have questions around different parts of sustainability and what they can do to retrofit their own properties. Retrofitting a doll's house has been probably the best thing that we did to be able to help people to realise what is the size of this problem and what can be done. The doll's house has got lots of different aspects to it. The recycling bin game is my favourite and that's the most interactive with children. So it's got cards with different elements of rubbish on it and they have to put them in the right bin. It's got LED lights, it's got wall insulation. We've even got an electric car out the front which the children can play with. A fake plug-in point, it's got a battery on the side of it. And it does have a working solar panel which does power one of the lights. So we're currently in the middle of a really exciting scheme where we're working very closely with the local council and we're giving away 22,000 trees. So they're free to residents, to businesses, schools, parishes, anyone can apply for one and they collect them during National Tree Week, take them home and they can plant them wherever they want. And the idea of this is we're just helping to increase the canopy across Hinkley and Bosworth. For us, we're looking for more partnerships more experts in the world of uh, green technology that we can bring solutions to our customer. Solutions that will help them turn their property from inefficient to efficient. We don't know what the future holds for property and property prices in relation to EPC ratings and energy efficiency, but what we do know is that the lower your property is, potentially, it could become less desirable. So what we want to do is we want to support customers with the lower EPC ratings and enable them to at least understand what they can do or what they need to do in order to bring their rating up. We were born in Leicestershire and Warwickshire 
and the people of Leicestershire and Warwickshire, we will help them to go through this journey.